Hmm, I wonder what my viewers would want to watch. Oh, okay. First mega base on today's tour, Apia. Interesting shape of a perimeter, not gonna lie. Main part of this base is a giant city with numerous buildings and roads. Heavily grieved, but still recognizable. This part is further away from the city and it's less destroyed. Massive farms of bamboo and pumpkin stretch all the way to all the build units. Featuring random zombie. This place got very famous after Apersus video. Tons of buildings, some of them still in a very good shape. I especially like this pirate ship, it looks really cool. I placed my own sign next to Apersus. If this tower sticks out, it's because Chadlets didn't build it. I built it myself when I came here after the grief. I placed some stuff in the chest at the top, but someone called Jim already took it, so no luck there. To this day, this remains my favorite storage area. Los Angeles is different than other bases in, in this video. It's very spread out, but various parts of the base are connected by these massive ice highways.
some of them stretch for multiple kilometers. I don't exactly understand why would you make a base like this, because it increases chances of being found by random explorers, but you do you, I guess. This is the main area of the base, very heavily griefed. And the started Guardian Farm. Okay, this is actually my own base. We built it with Wilhelm, Virkim, Adventure Time Guy and a few other people. Middle part of the island was a mushroom biome and we terraformed it into a giant mountain. Might not be as impressive as other bases on the list. This hole in the ocean was built by alpha testing. Gold farm still relatively intact. This dragon isn't very impressive either. Okay, but it's my dragon, not a schematic downloaded from internet. Inside of the mountain there were multiple farms, storage areas and private rooms. And this is the only area left from Mushroom Lion. As much as I hate pumpkins, I have to admit that this place is very cool.
giant Blackstone Cathedral. An octopus. And the whole underground area are very well built. Pumpkin faces look cool and kinda scary. This part is further away from the main area. No other base I've seen had two full perimeters. Obviously pumpkins use TNT duping, I have no doubts. Disclaimer, this was a joke. I was invited to this place while it was thriving. The idea of building a base in a flower forest biome is really nice. Two full gold farms and loads of kill builds, many of them still relatively intact. I wonder what this was supposed to be. Lots of shulkers of random shit were left behind. As I love scrapping this is just a dream base for me. I stasis myself already to my base and back here because my inventory was full of shulkers. And now I will have to do it again.
This is probably the oldest base of all shown in the video. Built mostly out of stone bricks and wood. This feels primitive, but it has a nice retro vibe. The sign with apology from Star Baron is dated on July 2019, which means that this base was already griefed only 4 months after the surface started. Looks like griefers missed this castle life thingy, or maybe it was built later. Most of the names on the cemetery are legendary old players, many of them were or currently are moderators. What a piece of history this is. Are you telling me that Penguin himself was basing in here? This is just magnificent. Based on the idea of O'Neill Cylinder, Kevin Prime base was built inside of a giant obsidian shell. Obviously heavily griefed, but the shell itself is mostly intact as it's made of explosion-proof material. I absolutely love this design, I could fly through here for hours. A few other random things outside. Also a burned map part. The best for last. Ladies and gentlemen, well, mostly gentlemen. This is Glaciagrad. This absurdly enormous building is known as Hall of Valor, based on a building from Skyrim. It is the largest building I've ever seen in survival Minecraft. I mean, just fucking look at this. Poor withers look like ants in here. It is simplistic, but hey, size does matter. Holy shit. 
many other giant builds in here. Smaller but more detailed things are also pleasant. Most of the base is heavily lava casted though. This fighter jet area was missed during the grief. As well as a map art district. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.